Hello, Southland Division. Hey, uh, my name is Brad Britton, and hey, I'm your division manager. If we haven't met, uh, I look forward to meeting you. We do have a big summer conference number one coming up next week, which where, uh, where we will, I don't know that we'll get to have a personal interaction, but at least we'll be on the same uh, Zoom meeting together, uh, two o'clock, one week from today. Uh, so make sure that you have that marked on your calendar. Hey, uh, last week was a uh, almost uh, an unprecedented week uh, in the company, uh, and uh, certainly in Southland Division, and let me get to the recognition. And uh, we're going to recognize top achievers, talk about some of our stats for the week. We're going to uh, recognize the people who had a grand day last week, and we're going to do a drawing for the grand days, a uh, free piece of Cutco. And oh, let me go get that, by the way. Let me pause for just a minute. All right, I'm back. These bad boys were given away today for free. What is, what is this, you say? What is, what is in that box? It says Cutco on it. You can see in the hole. Oh, ho. ladies and gentlemen, these are the bad boy, bad boys of all Cutco, and that is the Cutco Super Shears. Love the sound, love the teeth, the teeth. You guys probably don't even know that there's these teeth on here. Let me tell you why there's teeth. The teeth are so that things don't slide. You know, you ever try to cut a piece of cardboard and you start squeezing and the cardboard kind of squeezes out of it, whatever, because it's smooth right there. This has these teeth, so look at that. Put this penny in there. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, it does work where you can just bust right. Boom, through that, look at that. Had my safety glasses on. Mm. Giving these away in just a little while. They love it. Uh, let me jump into the recognizing what's going on in the world of Cutco here. So uh, this is last week's sales report for the division. Um, we had, look at this red line is 3,000, okay? I'm gonna talk about how many people we had over 3,000 in different levels. I, I don't think we've ever done this before, but. Uh, had this many people. So Isabella from Mission Viejo led the way with 9,700, uh, and she's brand new. And this must have been the uh, end of her fast start because her career only has 13,000. So nice job right there. Uh, Francine, FSM, our CSP. So she makes 50%. So Francine made a nice little almost $5,000 last week. She's uh, almost at 500,000 in sales. We got Ben Cooper and Barry, both from West LA. Ben, over nine, ben is not messing around for push period, and he wants to win that top All-American scholarship. He was number two in the nation in the scholarship race in the spring. Uh, you're going to hear from Mr. Ben Cooper, by the way, at our conference next week on virtual demo selling tips. And uh, you're going to see some uh, uh, things that will blow your mind. Barry with 8,600 solid SMU. Go to school in Texas. Got, I, I'm from Texas. I, li I like that. Uh, we got uh, Nate, see another CSP over 8K for the week. Uh, Michael here from West LA, 7,100. Two Chapman people right here, Leah Eliopoulos. Now she's a veteran uh, CSP. Leah sold 3.6 million, 3,693,000 she sold. So uh, Michael, you got some, uh, you got some uh, work to do to catch up with Leah here, but uh, very nice. And look at the number of orders. I have these highlighted, the number of orders. Love those numbers. Um, Francine, wow, boom. Six orders, $9,700. Must've had at least one big one in there. Uh, where are we at here? Um, Matt Lee from Torrance. Uh, also, Jim's finished up his fast start. Pepperdine did a little over 11,000. Good work, Matt. Uh, Michael Lamaster, another one of our CSPs. See right over here where it says this is the people's title. CSP stands for Cutco Sales Professional. SADV stands for Senior Advisor. That's people who are at Dirty 30. Uh, so just as an FYI. Uh, Santa Monica's got Peyton here with only five orders, but 5,200 uh, USC. Uh, and must be pretty, pretty new, right out of training. So it's very solid. Uh, Bradley Burdick, uh, 5,200. Doesn't have any school listed. I don't know if he's a student or not. Newport Beach. Uh, Jada, eight orders for five grand. Senior Advisor. Uh, Luke from Santa Monica, 12 orders for 4,600. Brandon from Long Beach, first Long Beach, uh, two, two Long Beach represented here, uh, 10 orders for 4,600, Vanguard University. We got Noah from Newport Beach, 4,100 on 10 orders, no college listed. Um, hey, I wonder if Gabby and Bradley, or Gabby and uh, Brandon know each other, both from Vanguard. Look at that. Uh, Jax, no, nothing listed here from Santa Monica, six orders, 3,700, solid average order size. Uh, Hannah, 12 orders for 3,600. Uh, Ariana from Downey. Five orders for 3,500. Uh, John from Santa Monica, 12 orders for 3,400. Wow, Connor, CSP, making half. Uh, 11 orders, 3,400. Uh, Trevor uh, and Oliver, both from Santa Monica, four, six and four orders, big averages, LMU and uh, USC. Uh, Nick, Nicholas Donahue, 15 orders for 3,200, another Pepperdine. Uh, Maddie Medford from Santa Monica. Maddie's got six orders for 3,100. Uh, Southwestern University. Southwestern University, yep. Um, Miguel from Middlebury College in Vermont. Uh, started this summer, FSL, over 26,000, one of our top new representatives for the summer. Uh, Bridget uh, from NOC, first, well, besides CSP's first new person NOC representation. Bridget, 14 orders, 30, a little over 3,000. Uh, Cal State uh, Stanislaus, yes. Uh, Kimberly McCaffrey, continuing her, uh, her uh, fast start here, I think. Um, Santa Monica, 30, a little over 3,000, on 15 orders, nice to see. Also Southwestern. Uh, and then rounding out our $3,000 ship, shippers, Maxburg from Whittier, eight orders of 3,000, Mount San Jack College, Mount Sac, 
Um, guys, you, it's, it's terrible that I, I don't even have time to re recognize all these people over 2K. 2K is a very solid week. You see these names here. Uh, highlights are people over four orders. You know, that's my minimum standard for number of orders in a week. Now, some of you guys are like four. Like, if you got 15 or eight or 10 orders for the week, keep doing that, okay? Don't, don't say, oh, Brad only wants four, so I'll just do four. Don't, like, lower your standard. But my minimum standard for, 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 for people, what I want people to have, uh, is four orders a week. Four orders a week uh, earns a great, <laughs> a very significant income over the course of a year or even just of the summer. Um, and then all these people over a thousand. You got Zach. You got Zach. Zach at nineteen thirty nine. Man, Zach. Oh, you got to. You got to do that extra to get that over that two thousand mark for the week. You might not even even realize you were that close. Uh, and that's a Cal State Fullerton. Awesome. Uh, anyway, all these awesome people here over over a thousand. Solid. A lot of these people are first weekend. You get another Chapman uh, right here. Uh, Ryan. Um, I say Chapman is right around the corner. Fullerton College Chapman and, and Cal State Fullerton are all right around the corner from our office uh, in Anaheim. Uh, but anyway, all these people over a thousand. Congratulations. Uh, all these numbers, good. These people here, you got to get over a thousand. Don't be between 900 and a thousand. You might not even realize that like you get special recognition if you're over a thousand. But uh, if you ever catch yourself on, you know, on, on s Sunday and you, and you don't have any demos on a Monday and you're like at 900 and something, then get on the phone and set some demos. Don't let yourself not be over, over a thousand if you're that close. Um, I know sometimes people call mom and dad or aunt and uncle and say, hey, buy a, buy a can opener to help me get over a thousand. Uh, get over that thousand mark. Um, and then all the way down, a lot of, you, I'm just doing it slow enough that you might be able to see your name on here. Uh, lots and lots and lots of orders on the board, lots and lots and lots of orders on the board, lots and lots and lots of orders on the board, lots of orders on the board. And uh, finally, I get down to the bottom. Can I get there? Okay. So here's the total. So we got 209 people uh, with an order on the board. I think, I don't know if that's a record, but it could be. I'd have to go back and look. 780 orders for 281000 All right, $281,000. Very, very solid report. Um, what these numbers here represent is $360. That's our average order size for the week. Uh, that's solid. Uh, for sure. Anything over 300 is, is very good. Um, and then 69 is, oh, people with four orders or more, 69 people with four orders or more. Uh, and then the average rep sold 13, whoops, sold 13, uh, 45. So if you sold more than 1345, thank you. You helped raise the average. If you sold less than that, still good. We like every single order. Uh, but just know that, you know, the average for the week was 1345. Um, so 80 people over a thousand for the week. Uh, their average order size of the people over a thousand was 431. So interesting that if you want to have bigger weeks, maybe a, a bigger average order size might help. Uh, but certainly getting over four orders for the week uh, almost assures people to get over a thousand. Doesn't assure them five five orders or, or six orders for sure. Uh, I mean, it's really hard to not have a thousand at six orders. Uh, 29 people over 3,000. The average order for that group was 482. And then there were 12 people over 5,000 for the week. And the average order for that is 579. So certainly if you were thinking about really competing at a very, very high level. You want to learn some skills. There's two, two things you want to learn. One is how do, you, how do you build the right kind of value to make a, comfortable, a customer feel comfortable spending that much money? And secondly is how to find the kind of customers that are comfortable spending that kind of money. How do you find those people that love to cook or uh, are into high quality, right? And there's, there's certain things you can do when getting recommendations, getting introductions to do that. And we've been having trainings on these things every morning at nine o'clock, something called the Champions Club. We got six more days of Champions Club, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, actually seven more Champions Clubs we've got uh, until we uh, take a break from Champs Club for a little while. So uh, and, uh, we'll, you'll have opportunities to do that again. So nine o'clock right here uh, on, our, on our same Zoom, uh, Zoom channel, uh, tinyurl.com uh, slash SLD meeting, 9 a.m. Just jump on and you'll get some, you'll get some really great nuggets uh, on our Grand Day report. Uh, so this is a, a file that we get. Now, these are only people that registered their Grand Days, right? If you did not register your Grand Day, then you do not get in the drawing for this because we don't know for sure that you had a Grand Day if, unless you register it. You see Matt is in here four times. Uh, Gabby's in here three times, Leah, Jax, Zoe, Noah, Adrian, in here a couple of times, uh, Ariana, Garrett, Trevor, Rachel's in here once, Jillian's in here once, Hannah's in here once, uh, Chamandu, uh, Chum, we call him, uh, from NOC, Francine, Oliver, Brandon, J Jada, Bradley, Brandon, a different Brandon, uh, Peyton, Mariah, Chloe, Eli, Caitlin, Zach, and Miguel, and Raven, and Luke, all, okay? And just for fun, I kind of played with these statistics. It's $78,000 worth of CPO that happened in just the grand days alone. It's 26% of the entire total for the week. Okay, do you guys remember the total, 281,000? Um, so just, just as an FYI, 281,000 is an unprecedented week for any division in the Western part of the country uh, for this week, all right? Uh, we, we were number uh, seven in the nation, I think, as a division uh, for total business and for a new business of all offices, not, not including the pilot, uh, uh, that we were number, number six, okay? Now, you may think, well, why are you all fired about being number seven? It's because, of, it's because of the flow. You guys need to understand that our summer, June is our building month. Uh, what other uh, uh, divisions do and offices do in, in May, that's what we do in June, okay? Because of the way our schools are in session longer than most of the East Coast high schools and colleges, right? So it's just most of the time, our biggest week is like the fourth week of June. In fact, we've only been over 300,000 once 
in, in my history here in Southland in the modern history. Um, and that was in 2018. And I can't remember if it was June or July week, week four, but it was a couple of years ago. We had 326,000, but it certainly wasn't the first week of June. Okay, so very solid. We should build on this 281. In fact, if, if all of you guys will, will commit to working just a little bit extra, uh, and then we'll add a, a whole new group of trainees this week, we should, we should easily hit that 300,000 mark, okay? which, is, which is unprecedented to do it that early in the summer. And then ideally, we keep that 300,000 plus. I mean, could, could we do 400,000? I mean, those are the kind of numbers that, that are possible. I worked it out. We need to do $30,000 Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. This is just to do 300. Uh, 50,000 on a Friday, 65 on a Saturday, 65 on a Sunday, and then, uh, and then we only have to do 30,000 on Monday. Now, Mondays are usually bigger than uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays just because it's the last day of the, of the, for the pay period, and um, there's just a lot of reasons. We call it Miracle Monday, and usually Mondays are pretty big, but I, I set it up this way to try to get us ahead of the game. That way, even if you know, we, we didn't have the Monday that we normally have, we'd still hit it. Um, by the way, 65,000 on Saturday and Sunday, those are big numbers. Last week, we did 58,000 on Saturday, and we did 57,000 on Sunday, so we did, you know, we're, we're close to those numbers. So what well, I'm going to challenge all of you here that whatever you did last week, just beat it. Do your best to beat it. Some of you it's going to be hard, right? But at least beat it with the number of uh, the amount of effort that you put in. If you did, if you did, you know, 12 demos this last weekend, then try to do 13 demos this upcoming weekend, right? And I don't want you to sit making excuses. I don't want you to make excuses about, well, I'm not really sure if I have people uh, work with your manager. There's always people. There's always people. Okay, you know more people than you think you know. Uh, you probably just have them on your in your subconscious mind on a chicken list that you go, I would never call that person. Well, you know what? If you don't, somebody's going to call them. Uh, so find a way. Find a way. Chance Champions find a way, right? Whatever it takes mentality. That's one of the Southland core values. So um, 300,000. I, mean, I don't want to say it's in the bag, but it should be done this week. All right, let's start this draw for our grand day. Um, grand day picker right here. Okay. Okay, so here are the grand days. They're all in here, as you can see. They're all in here. I just copied and pasted them out of that, out of that deal. Okay, make sure it's fair. All right, pick a random name. Boom. And it's going to happen. We see it. All right, the winner is Jillian Kim from Newport Beach. Jillian your manager will send me your address where you would like these mailed to. I will get them in the mail in the next two to three days. You should have them by next week and uh, cut all the pennies you like. Just cut pennies till your doggone heart's desire. That's all I got to say. Uh, let me finally, lastly, go uh, talk to you guys about this push period that we're in. Some of you guys are new. You're still fired up about your fast start, but you're also in a push period contest. So here's what's going on. All reps over $3,000 win a chance at a drawing. All reps over $5,000, get two chances at a drawing. All reps over $7,500. This is for the push, by the way. This is a 17-day contest, okay? So uh, it's not like one week even. Uh, $7,500, you get three chances. Over $10,000, you get five chances. And then um, automatic limo night in Las Vegas uh, for people get to uh, – no, sorry, that's not at five. That's at 12 five. I don't even know what happened. It's at 12500 is where you get this uh, automatic limo night, okay? What can I win is the question. What is the? What can I win? Well, one thing you can choose if you win. If you win the drawing, you can choose this television. It is a 32-inch smart TV, uh, Fire TV edition. Uh, you can choose that if you like, okay? Uh, you could choose AirPods or an Apple TV if you like. If you already have a good television in your room or whatever, you want some AirPods, that's great. You want an Apple TV, it's your choice. Uh, and all four, P uh, four winners, by the way, we're going to have four winners. All four winners can pick the same thing if they want, all right? And then we'll have one more, draw or, uh, one more thing that you could, pick, you could choose, and that is these customizable Nikes, right? I just went online and just made up these, this color scheme. I don't know that I would actually buy those shoes. Some of you guys might say, oh, that's the greatest color. Maybe you want to do your school colors. Maybe your school colors are orange and black, and you want to make them all orange and black. Um, I have one pair of these custom Nikes, and uh, I bought these running shoes. So I don't know if you can see them. Uh, these running shoes. I bought these running shoes right here. And I just made a black and gray, right? And they're cool. I like them. And they have, you can put your initials. I don't really know if you can see the initials anyway. Put the initials on there. It's pretty cool. Uh, about to go for a run. In fact, as soon as I get this uh, video edited. All right. And then uh, what are managers? Managers, you guys, top branch, top new district, and top veteran office win the uh, Southland Championship belt. Uh, it's a white belt with black on it, I believe. They should have been delivered today. In fact, I'm, I'm waiting for Sally to text me the pictures of these because she was supposed to pick them up from the UPS today so I can actually send them to the managers. These things are these things are awesome. Those metal plates are 11 inches long. Uh, they're not, it's not like this tiny little, it's not this tiny little thing like this, right? The, the metal plates are 11 inches long, nine inches wide, the 55 inch long belt. And uh, the, the plan is we're going to have one of these, uh, th this contest for summer conference one, two, and three. And uh, maybe there'll be different people that win them. I don't know what'll happen. But uh, when we go out in Vegas to limo night, we're going to like wear the belts. Okay. So yeah, it's going to be crazy. Crazy stuff. All right, you guys, a lot of stuff is going on. Um, I know there's a lot of individual recognition that all of you deserve uh, from your local offices. A lot of people getting promoted. A lot of people, uh, you know, having their best weeks ever. Uh, and it's just, uh, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. So hopefully you're learning stuff. Make sure that you make it to the Champions Club because tomorrow is going to be on uh, phone tips, how to schedule appointments that don't postpone on you. Don't, 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 don't uh, cancel and postpone. 
And then uh, every, every morning there's just like great tips that are going to be uh, super valuable for you. So make sure you are making as many of those as possible. It starts at nine. If you're on it early, you get extra bonus nuggets, right? Some of you guys that were on this morning got that extra little bonus nuggets on, on uh, managing your state with using body language. It was a pretty great, uh, pretty great nugget. All right, I'm done. Done for talking to you. Go have a great meeting and we will talk to you guys very soon. I'll see you next week at the conference, summer conference number one. See ya.